This is such an accomplishment for me because I just never knew if I would be able to develop the game and the shots needed, required to play Lynx golf effectively. And we had uh, such firm, fast conditions here, the epitome of Lynx golf. And to play the best round of arguably my career today, to putt better than I've ever putted and to uh, to shoot the round of my, my life here, it just feels amazing to win this Claire Jug. 66. But when you stood on that 13th tee, we had absolutely no idea where this championship was going. What were you able to summon over those closing six holes with the four birdies? There's such difficult six-hole finish that I was just trying to hit good shots on the green and give myself putts at it, and I putted so good. I hit a, a really solid five iron that gave me a great look on 13. And when I made that putt, it got me back to even par for the championship, which I thought was going to be a score that was going to contend that would have a great opportunity to win. And I was just trying to make some pars, and on 14, after a really good shot, I had some good bounces, and it ended up 20 feet, and I made that one. I just um, made some great putts coming in, and it feels amazing. When you walked up the 18th fairway, did you think you'd already done enough, or did you think you needed that putt at the last? I was doing everything I could to make par. I felt like two under par was more than enough. It was so difficult coming down the stretch that uh, pars are good scores, and to, to have to try to chase somebody down and make birdies I thought would be extremely difficult. I was doing everything I could to make par. I, after, after three putting the last hole last week, that putt I hit barely got to the hole. I was playing the maximum allowable break, just trying to get it to feed down there, and it went right in. You know, you've shown such resilience, not just to come back from a four putt the other day, but obviously after the heartbreak at Marion in the U.S. Open, your sixth runner-up spot in that championship. How have you turned a negative into a positive so quickly, Phil? Well, certainly the range of emotions I feel are, are as far apart as possible in the last month after such a difficult loss to the U.S. Open to win a tournament here that I just I wasn't sure if I, I would ever win. And uh, to, to win this feels amazing that uh, the last the, the range of emotions has been incredible but you have to be resilient in this game you have to accept losses and you have to use it as motivation as opposed to letting it uh, defeat you you've got to use it as motivation to work harder and come back strong and these last couple of uh, couple of weeks these last couple of months I've played some of the best golf of my career a fifth major title that's three out of the four one more that pesky US Open for a Grand Slam that's for another day Phil but in the meantime we're going to let you go and collect a very valuable piece of silverware. Very well done. Thanks, Hazel. Thank you.